Molecular and cellular biology can be kind of a weird subject. It's not like chemistry or math where it's like trying to figure out a mechanism or a puzzle. Biology is a bit more memory based. But just like anything else, you get better with practice. Also, every app that is mentioned will be in the link in the description below. Quick disclaimer, I am not sponsored by any of the following apps. So enough with the chit chat and let's get into the video. So the first app that I recommend is Amino Acid Quiz. So you just set up which questions you want, you then press continue, then proceed to press start quiz. You will then receive multiple choice questions that go along with what topics you chose, and the app automatically tracks which ones you get right and wrong. In addition, you can quiz yourself on sidechains, codons, and structures. It's an overall great app and I give it an 8 out of 10. The second app is Science Dictionary. One of the biggest challenges that I faced in bio was trying to memorize all of the different vocabulary. For example, let's look up the endoplasmic reticulum. You can obviously find this information on Google, but as you see, we get a full in-depth explanation when we type this in. The app really covers a whole lot of material and I give it an 8.5 out of 10. So the third app that I recommend is MCAT Prep. So whether you're taking the MCAT soon or within the next few years, this app could really prove to be helpful. So it's beneficial in that it gives a variety of different categories within biology. As you can see, we could review material from nucleic acids, protein structures, mitosis, and many, many more. You just click on the topic and then you're gonna see a few different videos videos that cover that one topic and it's maybe like a five to seven minute video but I found them to be extremely helpful. Overall I rate this app an eight out of ten. Fourth app <laughs> <laughs> The fourth app that I recommend is Quizlet. All you have to do is type in molecular or cellular biology within the app and you'll find plenty of Quizlets that'll cover your course. Once you find it, you could go over all the different flashcards that other people have made. And then finally, you can quiz yourself at the end. Quizlet is also beneficial in that you could add some of these flashcards into a folder so that every time you want to reflect on these flashcards, you can just go to your folder and just check them out there. But a downside to Quizlet is that sometimes the flashcards can be inaccurate. And so I suggest that you double check the work. Overall, I rate the app an 8.9 out of 10. The fifth app that I recommend is Flashcard Maker. So although Quizlet is great, sometimes it's just better to make your own flashcards. So within this app, you just create a new deck, write down what you need to put on the front and back of the flashcard, and then you can proceed to just study the material. So this app is great for testing your knowledge in your vocab and overall functions that go on in the class. So far, I found this app to be one of the best ones. I especially like it because you could actually write down what information is pertaining to your specific class. This is a great way to actively learn the material. And another plus is that you don't have to deal with actual paper note cards that you'll probably end up losing at some point. Overall, the app is a 9.5 out of 10. And the sixth and final app is Socratic by Google. All the Bing people are pissed. <laughs> <laughs> this app is actually the best app that I mentioned, solely because it has so many features. So for starters, you just scroll down and you'll see that you're given multiple school topics, all ranging from chemistry to biology and etc. So let's click on biology, for example. As you see, we have molecular bio and cell bio, and a whole lot of great content that comes with a very helpful video that explains that specific topic. Also, if you have questions, you can just type it in into the actual app and then it'll come up with an answer or you can take a picture of it for which it like read it and it'll also come up with an answer and as you see we can get a very accurate and in-depth answer I rate this app a 10 out of 10 these apps are great but they're also limited by them being free but if you guys want some more tools to succeed in cell and molecular bio I would also recommend using Chegg I think it's like $15 per month which really isn't bad if you're like actually needing to view the material that's on the platform. But another free resource that you could use is Anki, which is accessible on your laptop. But if you want to use it on the mobile, it's going to be like $25 on the app store. I'll attach a link to all the apps in the description box below. So let me know if you guys like these apps and if you guys think that I miss any. Anyways, thank you guys for watching my video. Peace. So... <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So much on my mind. <laughs>